in this case, as Mr. Troyer mentioned, there have been five indictments federally so far. There will be more. At this point, we've seized 20, 28 kilograms of heroin, 2.5 pounds of methamphetamine, 50 grams of cocaine, 35 firearms, including several that were stolen, and an automatic machine gun. Approximately $540,000 in U.S. currency, and so far three vehicles and several properties have been seized as a part of this investigation. This task force used several sophisticated long-term investigative approaches to gather evidence, including electronic surveillance, search warrants, several controlled purchases of evidence, and other law enforcement sensitive techniques to disrupt and dismantle the gangs and the drug trafficking organizations behind them. One significant aspect of this case is that these drugs were not seized through interdiction along our Colorado highways, which you often see. These drugs were seized entirely within the city of Pueblo. As Mr. Troyer mentioned, the amounts to upward, this, this amounts to upwards of approximately 40,000 user doses of heroin in the streets of Pueblo. The, cult, the cumulative effort and combined efforts of the FBI, Pueblo PD, Pueblo Sheriff's Office, and a multitude of federal, state, and local enforcement agencies resulted in Southern Colorado Safe Streets take, taking a significant drug organization off the streets of Pueblo. These were violent felons walking around in our neighborhoods, carrying automatic weapons, selling massive quantities of heroin and other illegal drugs. The criminal enterprise was responsible for poisoning this community. And for the epidemic heroin problem our, neighbor, our neighborhoods are currently facing, it's real. And today, our community is a little bit safer. This case highlights a significant step in addressing the heroin epidemic in Pueblo and in all of Colorado. 